Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Katamari Damacy. Last time we completely rocked Make a Star 8, and uh, now it's time to move on to Make Virgo. So, let's go roll up some ladies. Hmm. It's lacking a certain something. Is it our royal present? No, that's not it. Oh yes! We get it! Prettiness! The sky is not pretty at all! It's rough and masculine, possibly sweaty. What we really want is pure girlish prettiness. There should be loads of maidens like that on Earth. Okay, so yeah, this is Make Virgo. It's quite interesting. The entire point is to go around and roll up ladies. Look at all the ladies. Oh, be still, my heart. The earth is full of maidens. Pretty maidens. This is like another lucky day for the prince. Days like this don't come along often. Roll up as many as you can, and make as maiden rich a katamari as you can. By the way, if you sit here listening to him, that girl's gonna kick me down the steps. For a beautiful constellation. For a super fab pretty sky. Most earth, most earth maidens are easily bored. So you only have ten minutes. We look forward to it, frisky prince. Oh my goodness. Anyway, welcome to the maiden level, make Virgo. We get to roll around and roll up ladies. Look at all these ladies. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Everywhere. Don't we love the ladies? Time to go pick up some ladies, because that's what this is all about. Look, our Katamari is even covered in hearts and stuff. How cute is that? Time to make the sky pretty. And I can't remember, like, how big you have to be to pick up some of these people. Because I know, like, we just, like, ripped a few, like, children from the face of the earth. So, let's go find some other ones. It was particularly the creepy children, too, because they, like, giggle like they're from some horror movie. Like they want to eat my face or something. Get up there. Get that small child. There we go. Yes, knock her into the river. Oops. There we go. Ah, this level. I like the music for it, though. It's quite good. I mean, like... <laughs> I made that sound like I didn't like the level. No, I actually do like the level. I like every single level in this game except for the cow bear ones. Because those frustrate me. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. I wonder if this is something, because it's like, they they all have brooms, and I don't know, it kind of makes me think of witches, and the... I mean, and when I think of, like... I mean, like, the first thing that comes to my head when I think of witches is Kiki's Delivery Service, because that's, like, the best movie involving witches ever. But I don't know if that has anything to do with Kiki's Delivery Service. Just guessing, though. I mean, I, mean, I, re I really don't think it does. I think... But I want to know if it has something to do with witches or something. Or maybe it's just three girls with brooms and I'm overthinking it all. Those are all boys. And the occasional lady. But let's just go snatch them all up. That group photo was a bust. Oh yes, indeed it was. But we stole everybody. Oh, there's a maiden trapped under there. Or, I think it's maiden. Yes, that's a maiden. Trapped underneath that thing. I don't really know that what that was. It kind of looked... I think it was like a, used as a table earlier. Abalone dive. What's an abalone? I have no idea. Okay, look, a maiden. Let's crash into her. Maidens! Oh, I missed. Come here, fair maiden. I am here to save thee, and then throw you in- Mama-san! But yes, I'm here to save you thee, and then probably throw you in the space later where you will possibly suffocate, because there is no oxygen at all, which that's really a sad and depressing ending to think of when it comes to Katamari. But really, don't think of that at all, because that just like ruins the mood. Really, it's a big happy level filled with screaming people. Because this is like the I think this is like the one level in the game that focuses mainly on picking up people. And because of that, they all scream. I mean, the people in this game are so noisy. <laughs> and like everybody in this level will scream when you pick them up. So it's quite the noisy level. Oh uh, no, I didn't want the schoolboy, I want the lady. Ah, her wheelbarrow was like having a flip-out all over the everywhere. Grab that 
Maiden. Maidens, maidens, maidens. Let's go snatch up all these maidens. So many maidens. So many, many, many maidens. And birthday cakes. Seems like that island has always had like something food related on it. Because it like had penguins and bananas or something earlier. Well they had names. Maybe that maybe that would have like showed me or would have told me what the heck I was supposed what the heck was like important. But they all had names, so maybe I should look at that I, well I won't really be able to tell because they all have generic character models that are used for other characters in the game. But um yeah, maybe there's Maybe if I pause the video or something, I don't know. But, yeah, they all had name. That is Kiki's delivery service right there. It is a girl with a black cat on a broom. Either that or she's a witch. But, you know, I, that's just what I'm thinking there. That's just what I'm thinking. Because, you know, that that is closer to Kiki's delivery service than, like, the other thing. Like, than those three girls down on the ground. That... That's definitely what it reminds me of. She even had the black cat. But, you know, witches stereotypically have a black cat. But, that was Kiki's delivery service. I'm... This game is full of references to things, and let's just say that that, that was the reference. Let's just humor me and say that. Because that's... I kind, I kind of want that to be a reference. Because that's such a good movie. And the Ghibli people make the best movies in the world. And I really wish that one would come out now. I mean, I miss... I missed the secrets of Arietti, and I really wanted to see it in the theaters. But like, I just happened to miss it. And I'm like, aw, oh, that's sad. Because they make the best movies in the world, and they're, like, exceptional. In my personal opinion, I like them better than Disney. I mean, Disney's great and all, but Ghibli's magical. I mean, sure, and people will argue to you, Disney is definitely magical as well. But Ghibli has a more magical magic in it. Oh my, that girl, that noise she made. Whoa, 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 whoa. These people are hysterical. Oh, get over here, girl, pushing a melon. Come here. I must collect you all. I must put you into a katamari and then throw you into outer space for the king. Because that's what he desires. And he's the king, you know. And the king gets whatever he wants because we're his lowly one-inch tall son. Who, uh, who does everything he tells him to. Come on. You have to be Kiki. Oh no, you're just Pink Girl, but I'll say you're Kiki because you remind me of Kiki and that movie is amazing. Go out and watch it. Go out and watch Kiki de Kiki's Delivery Service. No, I'm serious. Like, right now, just watch it. It's that good. It's so good. Now I'm gonna stop talking about that movie because, you know, it's so gosh darn good. But, um, look! T spotlights and sunflowers and telephone poles. And a bridge, and a boat shaped like a duck. Don't understand that thing yet, but I guess it's kind of just a cool thing. Ew, that was the most disgusting noise that man made. I mean, ugh, ugh. Why do these people all sound like complete freak shows? I don't understand. <laughs> Everybody in this game's a weirdo. Ah, I'm stuck. When could I go back here? I don't know why I would want to. Ooh, I didn't see this massive pile of maidens over here. Hello! I'm here to go throw you into the sky. Hello, Mama-san. I think there was a guy there with her too, so maybe I got a Papa-san. Maybe I completed the pair. Oh no, it's just a nerdy guy. Parent-teacher day was a bust. Everything was a bust, wasn't it, the king? <laughs> the king is his name, not king. Just the king. Yeah, everything seems to have been a bust. My goodness, we're just going around ruining everything for people. Aren't we nice? <laughs> now, I I always think that those golden statues, like, always add, like, one unit of something to you. Usually, I think it's just, like, a freebie one meter, just because that's the height they're close to. Get over here. It was practically that. Maybe a little more. Or less. I don't know. I'm gonna go play some Metal Gear Solid. I can't actually though, because I have to play it with Bill Barlow. And I'm sure it's actually super fun with Bill Barlow, just because like every time I fail horribly, we always kind of laugh about it. More so, he laughs about it because like he's really good at the game and I'm awful. But like, it's it's always a good time. It's always a good time. 
Boom, hey, I got another present. I'm on a roll. My goodness. And look, ACs, air conditioners. I can't sing past 10 o'clock Cause I'm tired and don't want to sing And the no ho din didn't go up Yeah, I'm not really trying too hard to sing right now I can sing really awesome, I, I promise, but you have to wait to, for the daytime for me to do that. And I can't use a lot of breath right now, because you know, if I do, I'll scream, and then people, or not really scream, but I'll be loud, and then the people in the house will wake up and they'll be like, oh my gosh, you're crazy. And then, <laughs> then that wouldn't be too good. That wouldn't be dandy at all. This is a good song. I really do like it. Why are we getting, why are we doing so good and like getting everything? I'm never good at like games. I'm always failing at video games, but somehow, you know what? I'm doing awesome, and I don't know why. Look, a chicken. That's a pleasure. I'm really confused, actually. This is something weird. <laughs> Quick flip. There we go. More screaming. This game is full of it. And three ladies in waiting. I wonder what the significance is of that is. I really don't know a lot of the references in this game, which is kind of sad. I wish I knew more. Oh, be still, my heart. We must hurry, or the maidens will be bored. Quickly, quickly, we'll take the pretty rainbow back. We smell it. There's scent of maidens everywhere. It feels as cosmic space. Of course, there's 179 of them. Wonderful. The sky will be much more pretty. But of course, we will still be far, far prettier. Here, it's our royal present. Oh, we got a little dress. Guess what, heart? Guess what it is, heart? Alrighty, let's just release it into the sky. Well, thanks for buying us a dress, Mr. King. That's something to get your son. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the dress, just I don't want to wear one, because I'm kind of a guy. And guys don't usually wear dresses. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Virgo is back, the constellation of love. So pretty. How pretty indeed, and we did quite well. Well, in order to be nice to like the king and stuff, we will wear our pink running top with a bunny on it. What is this? Virgo. <laughs> what is this, even though I just made it? Okay. Anyway, it's save time once again, here on the planet of the prince. Him and his little running top. What the hoo-ha. Let's see, what options do we have over here? I think just one. Just make a star nine. This may be the end of the game. No, this is not. This is not the end of the game. This is make a star nine. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode where we will make a star nine in our pretty little running top. <laughs> see you guys then. Goodbye.